everyone welcome back to my channel I'm going to do um, another Christmas look um, I'm going to use um, the Huda Booty Desert um, palette again um, I'm going to be using these shades around here last time I used the the purpley shades when I did this palette before and I might be using a few of the um, neutral shades in this palette which is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette so I've already primed my eyes so I'm going to use the Tartlet palette and put down the crease colours so I'm just going to use just the basic you know crease colour shades I've already got um, foundation on. I'm just hoping this battery's going to last because I haven't got them charged properly. Oh, I forgot to put them on charge. I knew they needed charging when um, my battery ran out the last time. But uh, so I'm just popping this down. I'm just using a big fluffy brush for this this time. I just wanted it sort of a softer softer crease colour I think or well, a little bit anyway. Just taking that up and blending at the same time. My brows aren't playing friends. They um difficult to put on this morning. And then, sorry, got close up my nose there. Right, I'm going to start with some of these shades. I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to use at the minute. We will see. So a look. Um, I hope you can see me okay. My lighting's a bit off today, but um, right. I'm going to use a flat, just a flat brush. I'm going to take one of these base shades. I'm going to use this one. We'll see in a little while. It's got a little bit sparkle to it. Um, it's like a nice sort of like an orangey colour really I think. I think it's coming up an orangey colour on there. I hope it is because it's such a pretty colour. I was taking that on the outer part and up to the crease. I'm going to turn my brush over and just blend that edge a little bit. Right. Same on the other side. Turn the brush over and blend a little. further on the other side so I'll just bring that in a little bit further. Right. I'm just going to use that brush that I used previously and blend 
just with what's on the brush, just blend that through the top. And again on the other side. I'm sorry if you can see this mirror shaking. I've got a terrible shaky hand today. Right, and then I'm going to take a, another small brush and I'm going to take this gold colour here, goldy bronze colour, and pop that on the inner part of my eye. There. So this is quite a sparkly look and I always believe that you're never too old to wear sparkle. Um, you know, I'm careful not to take it um, too high and just blend with the other side of the brush. And I think if you want to wear sparkle, wear it. You know? Alright, I need to put a little bit more base colour down, I'll put the palette away out of reach. I'm just going to clean off my brush on my brush cleaner. That's just the um, fluffy brush I'm using. And I'm just going to go into base colour and I just want to blend that through at the top a little bit more. Just put there like that. And then I want to put a colour down underneath my brow bone. And I think I'll use I use this one here. It's not so white, it's like, like, a, like a creamy peachy colour. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath my brow. Yeah, that's pretty, I think. Just under there like that. There we go. And then I forgot to get my eyeliner. I thought I had everything. I'm going to use Dip Down, the, the dark brown liner. And I'm going to get a liner brush, my usual liner brush. And I'm going to start on the side that I'm hanging myself with my jumper. Start on the side that doesn't work so well for me. So I always do this side first, even with my eyebrows. They never seem to go on, I mean, liner never goes on very well on this side. So I always do it first. And for some reason, it works better. I don't know why. There we go. And then we've got to match this one up. So it should go on okay. <laughs> Famous last words. Making sure I'm still in shot. Because sometimes I've got a mirror in front of me and you can't see me at all. <laughs> right. Is everyone ready for Christmas? Right, question for you. Has anyone still got Christmas shopping to do? Like, you know, presents to buy and huge amounts of um, presents to wrap? Do, do you, do you, that's a question. Yeah, do you wrap your presents as you buy them or do you um, 
leave them all in one go and wrap them at the end? That's the question for you. All right, I'm going to use tart shape tape as my concealer. These shadows haven't um, dropped down at all, which is good. A little bit around my nose, a little bit on my chin. You don't need very much of this at all. A little bit goes such a long way. Damp blender sponge. And I'm going to use my palette to do that with. So I'm just going to blend that in. Oh, I hate glasses. They make marks on your face. But I don't, I don't take them off very often, so it doesn't really matter. But it's just when I'm doing looks like this that uh, you see, <laughs> everybody sees the, sees the marks. Never mind. So. There we go. Just brightens up the area underneath your eyes. Right, I'm just going to use my powder from Essence. It's all about matte fixing powder. I love this powder. It goes on so well under your eyes. You don't know it's there. Really, really good powder. around my nose, just where I put the concealer. Like and then I am going to use Honolulu um, by W7 to contour. So if I feel like you feel like I'm rushing this a little bit, I don't want my battery to run out and I've only got two marks on the battery. All right, contour in the usual place, got a bit much on there, so down the cheeks, round the temple. I banged my head on the car door um, a couple of days ago, got a really big lump and a bruise and it hurts like hell. <laughs> Down the sides of my nose, gently. Right. Squeeze my lashes. Um, Essence Volume Boost Mascara. This is the white, the white one. I've really got to get these batteries put on proper charge for this camera because, ah, oh, it's driving me mad. Um, Rimmel Wonder Lash Mascara with the Argon Oil. And then over the top of this, I'm going to put the Max Factor 2000 Waterproof Mascara. It's my usual, sorry, that was in front of the camera. Um, my usual pairing of the three. So that's the waterproof one. Okay. Right. Um, 
lost my there it is blusher palette right blusher palette from JD Nadia cosmetics and I'm going to use this one here with a little bit of that do a little bit around my temples Overdone that a little bit. Just use it. There's some powder, face powder on that brush. Um, so like that. I'm going to take the brush, the liner brush, and go underneath my eyes. With the brown. Join that up the edges. Right, take a small brush. I'll find a small brush. Small brush. And I'm going to use uh, that colour that I used on the inner corner, I dropped my brush, and bring that round underneath, match it up there. Right. You know what, all the way through this flipping video I haven't zoomed you in. Oh, I just realised. I hope it's going to be okay. See, I'm thinking about my battery. And then I'm going to take a colour and go underneath there, over the brown. Just go over that brown with a little bit of colour. Bend that through a little, like that. And then I need a lipstick, I haven't got lipstick out. Sorry about this. I just need a nude, nude type of lipstick. Oh, that would be okay, actually, I think. Yeah, we we'll use that one. Off from me, right? Put my glasses on. Put that down. Right, I'm gonna drop you down a little bit and do my lips. All right, I've got a Jordana Easy Liner in Rock and Rose, just a nude liner. Sorry, my lips are dry. I meant to put um, lips on, and I didn't. Fill, line and fill in. Right, this is a number seven lipstick in 
berry blush. Actually, no, I think I'm going to go nude, not the berry shade. I want to go nude. Caramel silk. It's caramel silk. Still number seven. I'm really into their lipsticks at the moment. I got a whole load of them, a whole load of them, on reduced price. I wouldn't pay the real price. I mean, they're 10 and 11 pounds for a lipstick and I, I wouldn't pay, wouldn't pay that they're too expensive. All right, I need to find a highlighter. I'm going to use the Rimmel Cape Moss highlighter. My brush. And just highlight the tops of my cheeks. Around there. The center of my nose. My cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin. And I think we're done. There we go. That is a finished look. I hope that you like it. I think it's been a little bit rushed because I was scared of my battery running out. Um, so I, I do apologise for that. Right. Um, the eyelid primer is the Dainty Doll. And... It is in 001, and it's just called Eyeshadow Base. I put over that my Wet n Wild Brulee, just to set the shadow. And then over that, I put on my Colour 24 Hour Tattoo uh, Eye Studio Leather Effect in Creamy Beige. And that's that on there. My foundation I use, which I, I really, really do love these are the Dr. Jart Premium BB Cream and it has an SPF of 45. Not that we need that at the moment, but yeah, so that is the foundation I use. And I've used um, these number seven skin illuminator, natural looking radiance for a natural, beautiful glow. Um, I got this in, um, they were doing a lucky dip for something Marie Curie or something in in my boots and I uh, paid a pound and you put your hand in this like lucky dick like the kids get and they were all wrapped up so you didn't know what you're getting and I pulled out this and it is really really nice I don't know how much it is full price um, but I really do like it and if it's not too expensive I might have to buy it because it's lovely at this time of year it gives you such a glow so what I did was put little dots of that all over my face and then obviously little dots of my foundation and then I just blended it in with the um, Real Techniques blending sponge. Got it right this time, know who they are. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it was last time when I did a video. So that's what I did there. And then from then on you saw, oh my eyebrows are It Cosmetics Brow Powder Universal Brow Pencil and it's in universal taupe. With this, you can um, do, obviously dark brows, how do you press the darker it gets? How do you press the darker it gets? And you can do light, light brows. So you supposedly, if you are a blonde, you can, do your brows light. If you're a little bit darker, you can go a little bit darker. And then you can go like I did with the first one there. That's a little bit darker. And then just a little bit darker and then up to the dark. So it's is a really, really nice pencil. It stays on all day. It absolutely stays put. It does not budge. And I have to use a eyebrow, uh, eyebrow um, an eye makeup 
no I won't show you I've lost it <laughs> um I have to use an eye eyeshadow remover you know one of these um either an oily um usually an oily um remover to get it off um because it does stay it doesn't budge um I think that's it I think you've seen everything else so I hope you like this look and I'm sorry I didn't zoom you in when I did the eyes I hope it's going to be all right and you can see what I did um sorry about that I didn't realize I wasn't zoomed in looking for hairbrush there we go straighten my fringe my hair sorry for the gray hair line um it's getting dyed uh, I think I'm gonna do it Christmas Eve uh, when I've finished doing everything else so I got lipstick on my teeth um, I'm gonna get my hair dyed um, I wanted to get it cut uh, before Christmas but I didn't manage to get round to it and um, I'm not gonna get in anywhere now so right I will say goodbye and this will go up the day before Christmas Eve uh, so I hope that you have the most brilliant Christmas ever. Um, if anyone is interested, can you let me know on the bottom of this video, if anyone is interested uh, in seeing what I got for Christmas, it won't be very much because I don't get very much for Christmas now. Um, if you've been interested in that video, let me know down below and I can do that for you if you want. So I will see you... Um, well, I'll be doing some videos before the new year, so look, look, out, look out for some new year looks. Um, and as I said, happy Christmas to you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.